other strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf Hello guys, welcome back today. We are here in the road access to the beach of Adraga in Sintra, Portugal. I'm going to do something I usually don't do because I'm a noob. <laughs> but today I must because the vistas are amazing. Yes, I'm going to go off-road into a cliff and check out one of my favorite spots and then continuing along this easy off-road track on the direction of Cabo da Roca, the westernmost point in continental Europe, on our way to visit one of the most secret beaches here in Sintra, just 30 kilometers west of Lisbon. Last time I was here, the road was in very poor shape, so wish me luck, let's go! So here we go, on the left. If I would go straight, I would go to the beach, but uh, let's go this way. Usually, in when the, it rains a lot, this road has a lot of struts in the middle. You can see here some of them. But it seems, yes, it was fixed for sure since last time I was here. Because this road has a, a little bit of views. So here we go. There is a very sharp turn to the right here. I should go faster, but <laughs> I'm a noob, so I will always slow down. Still adapting to the TRKX. In my opinion, of course, it's a better bike for the for the off-road, but it also is more demanding on the rider. My older TRK, it was a normal TRK with low tires, of course. What I would do many times when I see some bad uh, strut or hole, I would slow down and put my legs on the floor. This, the X version you should go faster the faster the better of course it's a very very heavy bike so we must be careful okay so i think it's here on the right yep into the sun we go i love to come here because the views are amazing it is also a very spiritual place Many times I find people here praying and stuff like that. I'm gonna stop really quickly here on the right and put the Sparky up and following me. Vertigo, <laughs> don't look down. <laughs> it's just amazing.
you liked it, so let's go back down and follow the off-road to Cabo de Roca. Alright, let's go. Sparky is following me nicely. <laughs> so ABS is off. Uh, this is very important, especially on downhills like this one we have in front of us. I use a lot of rear brake on downhills, of course. So it is important because if the ABS is on, you won't brake at all. And it gets dangerous. So nice and easy. I'm going a bit more slowly even for me because I want Sparky to keep locked on me and keep following. And so far so good, that's good. This track is very very easy. It's just a, a simple off-road but it has a few spots that is more dangerous with the loose rocks and some nasty hill climbs or downhill so far so good like I said before I'm a noob on off-road I go way too slow and that makes it way worse of course but I'm really afraid to letting the bike fall and break something and you know how much I love this bike <laughs> and of course I don't want to get hurt also but I am improving slowly, step by step. But honestly, I have the notion that I'm not an off-road guy. I prefer tarmac. But, and this is important, when I get to those beautiful places on, on my road trips that I want to visit, and the only access is by off-road, I must be prepared. So like this bit here, it's a bit more rocky. So. I slow down, stand up a bit, no problem. What I hate the most, it's loose big rocks and sand. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop here. Sparky's battery is getting low. I don't want to do the same thing I did back in the wetlands. <laughs> So I'm going to bring him down. So thanks a lot for watching. Next video we're going to continue this off-road on the way to Cabo de Roca and visit that special hidden beach. <laughs>